Hey, thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm here with episode 12 of my Let's Play series of Imperia and Reforged Galaxy version 1.5. Uh, where we left off last time, I was out here in Legacy Space. I still am. Uh, as you can see, I've got a few warp lines. I just wanted to t t kind of take a peek around and look at look at what was here, look at how the systems were set up, and see what was all different. Uh, what I'm finding is that all the all the systems are fairly similar in terms of how they're set up. They all have a space station. Uh, they all have, generally all of them have a couple asteroid fields. It's the legacy infested ones that you're looking for. Uh, some of them have these gas giants, but if they have the gas giants, there's nothing around them. That's normal. But uh, in looking around, uh, I found one thing. I found this system over here that had four infectors in it. Uh, and I thought, what uh, what better chance to kill them than uh, than here? And let's see how this goes. So, uh, see them on the map a little bit. I'm gonna head over there. When I was poking around, I was uh, I would just warp into a sector, hit the map key, just to kind of reveal to see what they were having, because I was noticing that I haven't found any decimators in any of these systems yet. Um, you know, so far it's been all infectors, devastators, and uh, um, what's the other one called? Infector, devastator, and uh, eradicator. Those are that's what's here. So, yeah, I guess they're not revealed here, but I do know that there's four infectors here. Uh, last time, I still have that quantum in here. I'm at 2.3 million, but. I uh, haven't done anything with it yet, but last time found out that generators are the best place to go. Oh, I cleared my groupings. Well, let's do that again. Rockets. Add to group. Whoops. Add to group rockets. Last group, last group. Uh, and now this one is going to be... Yep. And I'm just going to rename this group to O1 Plasma. And now I'm all lined at the top here. Yep, rockets will hit the drones. That makes sense. Oh, shoot, somebody sees me. I should probably pay attention here. Hey, drone. Found out last night that chasing the drones is actually the way to do it. else interested in coming to say hi I don't think so so I'm gonna go pick on this guy over here um, I did uh, I did take a peek at the devastator and eradicator in creative mode along with the um, matter converter the matter converter does not have a quantum box so that's a change um, I went through it I didn't see it in there unless I overlooked it but I'm almost certain it does not have quantum box anymore. The Eradicator and Devastator I looked at and I think I'll just do a video separately on those but um, you know they're 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 built quite a bit different than the Infectors and Decimators and that there's not a clear easy way to get at the cores of them to core them and their their uh, their generators are too scattered to take out the generators so they are powered by drive thrusters. That might be the weakness if you can get behind them. I mean, the whole the whole swirly to twirly thing will, would probably work on it if you just do circles around them. Uh, and uh, oh wait, actually, you know what? I want to start targeting the, the turrets first. Uh, sorry, you can probably do the whole swirl around them, doing the spinny thing. That would work on the. Gosh, I can't remember. I think it's the Devastator. Or maybe it's it's the weaker of the two. If you take the shield down and you get directly behind it, you get the, you could probably get the drive tr drive thruster out of it and then slow it down and get it that way. But anyway, we got the Infector here. Strategy is going to remain simple. Coming at the side of it, I'm going to take its shields down, take its turrets out, and then kill it. 
and uh, he's moving kind of fast. He's not hitting me yet, though. I'm not hitting him either. <laughs> hey, slow down here, buddy. He is just booking. And I got my space bar full blown right now, and is just cooking right now. Yeah, I just got my space bar pressed down this whole time. Well, he's got me down a percent. his shields down. So now I need to take his turrets out. Don't want to go around too far because I don't want all of his uh, turrets to have line of sight on me. Again, it's all about eliminating line of sight with these guys. Watch your shields. But you can see that, yeah, I think I just took out that one turret. And yes, isolate them. Single them out. there. Alright, I'm going to try to take out some of the turrets on this side, especially these back ones here. Oh, there looks like there's a drone coming in. back out of here really quick. Figure out where that drone went. Let my shield recharge. He is going to outrange me, but did I? I saw some eyes. I saw a drone. And then he disappeared. All right. I'm just gotta be careful. Can't burst. Ooh. I wasn't expecting a low so fast. So what I'm gonna do here. I need, to, I need to get above this guy so he stops getting me with his bottom lasers. I'm gonna only target bad form to do it right there in battle, but I just did. Only gonna target generate turrets. Uh, I need to get those things down. I think what's happening is I'm spending too much, too many rounds on yeah, there are two of them I just destroyed. Too many rounds on on taking out the uh, trying to take out the generators inside the ship that I just need to focus on these turrets. so hard to hit with his artillery. Okay. A few more that I need to get here. Oh, there's some in the bottom. Yeah, but they're getting shot at, so... Okay. Probably need to let my shield recharge a little bit. Let me 
see if I can't get one of these guys. Yeah, see, I'm trying to get those little turrets out down there. It doesn't look like there's three of them, but apparently there are. There's another infector came to play. It's all right. There's the drone. I'm gonna go kill this guy really quick. Maybe. Yeah, he's not even hitting me. Somebody says he sees me here now. Get him. Blow up. There you go. There you go. buddied up, huh? It's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Are they tangled on each other? Yeah, okay, fine. do is I do want to get across and I want to flip around and I come around on this side and pick on the guy with the huge shield Looks like they're tangled, so maybe I can isolate them on each other. Oh no, they're not. I see that and they pull apart. That's fine. I'm still going to pick on this guy because he's got uh, all the turrets. For some reason he's not shooting, but there his shield goes. Try to get on his side a little bit here. Getting a little too low. They are definitely a little more maneuverable than they were before, I think. But I also know there's a whole bunch of RCSs, I believe, that were added to them. And if you notice, I'm kind of doing this little rocking bit. I may have mentioned that before, but it kind of helps as I'm chasing them. Ro rotating Q and E, and then I am just simply using forward thrust when I have to. He's cooking though, so I'm pretty much always using my forward thrust. And see, this is where it'll be nice once I get more quantums on here. 
Uh, which I'm not going to do a, do a ton of streams like this, to be honest. Um, when I when I get a ton of quantums on here, I'm going to do a lot more heat-seeking rockets. And uh, that's going to be kind of the ticket to... Alright, now I'm going to... To getting these things down a little bit faster. A lot of these... Gosh, this guy's just cooking. Uh, a lot of these... Plasmas are missing versus heat seeking rockets are obviously heat seeking. back out of here. Looks like my shield's about to be down. Alright, that guy is alive. Did drone just disappear? Oh, he's about to start shooting me. Here he is. Y'all missed. I'm gonna try to sit on this side over here. Man, he's fast though, I tell ya. This is, uh. They don't wanna stop and fight, they just wanna run. Well, screw this guy. I am going to not mess with him anymore because he's annoying. And I'm going to find a different guy that isn't going to be a chicken and run away so much. Where did the other guy go? Yeah, it's over here. It's like they're all programmed differently just to run now. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with them. You know what? Oh, we gotta be careful. I was up to like 147% there. Yeah, see, he's just turning away from me. That's so stupid. Now it looks like he's following me. Like, I'm by you and you just run away from me the whole time. It's so quiet in the ship, I thought it wasn't running for, for a minute. That infector is probably heading out to this asteroid. This guy is going to be heading over to there. It's like that's all they care about is they just want to stay on their patrol routes. Which way is he going now? Let's 
So it looked like he was heading up towards that other asteroid. I'm going to try to intercept him. Targeting turrets only. Is this the guy that I wonder if I was messing with before already? I'm going to try something. I get in his way like I do with the decimators, is he going to redirect? And will that slow him down? Ah, I keep missing him though. Oh, come on, hit him! I'm right in front of him, just shoot straight. This is definitely the one I was fucking with before though. Okay. Okay, let's go for the generators. Generators are in the middle. Um, they're the whole core room is encased with generators and fuel tanks. Uh, I did check and there is no longer turrets protecting it. That's where the shockwave emitters are. So targeting turrets and hoping a core doesn't work anymore on these. You do have to target the generators, which works pretty well here because the whole core room is encased with generators. So if you just keep blowing it in the back like this, you'll get in there. see though. And I think this is what I did last night as I targeted the generators with the uh, hopes that it would do something like this and I did confirm that that is indeed how they are built. Whoa! I can flip too. I think I must have taken out some of its thrusters too, its drive thrusters. Because it's not moving very fast. Actually, I need to get back here. I'm gonna keep an eye on my shield because you just never know when another guy pops in. I'm getting my turret, my oops, my artillery right where I need to. Maybe, except when he does that crap. Alright. I'm at 70.71%, so that's pretty good on shield. Gotta be getting pretty close in there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it was just this ship shooting me and not another one that was close by. the infectors here to play. Come on, Korra, it's so close. 
They gotta be right there. Get it right here. Ugh. There, I got it. Oh gosh, no, I got this guy. Okay, so here's the game you just gotta play. You just gotta stay within reach, within visual range of this infector that I just killed. Um, I need to get my shields recharged, but I'm gonna... This is the guy I must have messed with before. It looks like he's got damage blocks on him. Yeah, he definitely does. Ooh, do I get free range up here? Check me out as fallen brother. Looks like I got the turrets up here. Hope I saw him on the other side. Maybe I didn't. I see one right there. Not sure why it's not shooting at me. As I say that, I start getting shot. Okay. Okay. I got some space yet. It's taking a really long time there. It seemed like it did good shield damage. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it does the right shield damage. There you go, hit him. It's always those ones in the bottom that give me the problem. I missed there. Okay. I'm going to let those ones in the bottom go. I'm going to go for this one at the top here. You know what I haven't been doing is keeping an eye on the other infector. Where is it? Oh, perfect. It's only a half mile away. After the generators. I think I can isolate it enough where I'm not going to get shot here. And just like the other one, it, it seems like I've kind of uh, handicapped it by getting some of those thrusters. So, you know, the other thing you may want to think about doing is if, if you're taking these guys on, is to intentionally go after those thrusters, those two big thrusters in the bottom, uh, which is where those green shots are coming from underneath it. It's got two big drive thrusters there, and when you take those out, they're they're pretty slow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I blew those for sure. Hopefully I didn't get the loot down there, because there is some loot in that corner. But, uh... We'll see. And it actually probably doesn't hurt to stay at the corner like this, where I'm standing right now. Or where I'm sitting right now, versus directly behind it. Based on how those those generators are are lined up inside of there, this is this might be a better angle. Is directly behind that circle. Yeah, you can see all those shots are going in that same hole there, and that's a good thing for sure. You're annoying. I really want that turret gone, but it, it's not shooting it. Alright. 
and generally you want to be kind of in the back bottom of the infectors doing the damage kind of like I am behind the circle the back of it is is a good spot to hit you know directly behind it if you follow them um, you don't want to be in the front you don't want to be in the top because that's where some of the loot is got it that one's point two nine the other infector is way over there. Um, cool. All right, I'm gonna loot this one really quick before I leave the ship. I am going to go in here. tool and yeah it looks like it should be good for this one soul crusher yep getting lots of auto minor cores in these things which is awesome Actually, just gonna leave the shield generator, go right by it. Ooh, I was really close. That's uh, CV core. Was that heavy armor? Oh, good. I was worried I didn't have a uh, another uh, recharge. Ooh, some uh, upgrade kits. Got a good amount of upgrade upgrade kits there. And I'm just going to go right straight through this wall and back to my ship. I am a little bit worried about drones randomly popping up. Um, yeah, I'm going to set it home and respawn here. Oh, I hate when it does that. I just wasted some artillery. That's okay. Where is... There it is. Now, I thought there was four infectors in this sector. Um, and I only see one more on the map, so it's possible he's just too far away. Okay. lot of it got blown up here. That's all right. Head in here. My orientation is not right. There I am. This is where I want to go down here. Hey, the loot survived. Even though the drive thrusters here didn't. This survived as well. Nice. Warp drives there. Quantum box. CV Quantum, nice. Oh, one of those uh, advanced armor boosters. Okay, here we go. Back inside. And back in my ship. Time to go hunting for the other one. Which is... It's on the... Uh, he is on the aluminum, which is over there. All right, two of them are dead. I think there's two left. 
I am going to cancel. So that's another thing. If you're in your system view, you got your map info here. If you go to your markers, here's your marker. I can change. I can edit it, change the icon, change the name. I can remove it. Um, share it publicly. I don't know how well that works. I'll assume it works, but who knows? Uh, and share faction. So that's there. But I'm going to delete this one. Because I'm cleaning this sector up before I leave here today. And that is probably a matter converter. The infested stations tend to only be in the these systems. The uh, tr station trading, it says. Trading station systems. Oh, that's cool. I got my... So I did get a... Uh, I think I did it after the last recording. I did go and, and loot a Infector space station. Those do exist. The ones with the... Um, the ones with the, the core in them. Um, large generator I'm not going to use. Ooh, six larges. Two advanced, a small, bunch of optronics. Dang, this is almost enough for a whole nother CV. Plus I got a quantum, which is awesome. Looks like 10 auto mino cores I'm up to. Oh, look at all that those credits. Bunch of food I'm getting from this. So this is this is setting me up pretty well. Heavy armor, which I'm not a big fan of, but heavy armor is really good if you need to load it up with like Oh, there's two of them there. There they are. Heavy armor is really good if you want to load it up with, with boosters for, like, outer space. Uh, or if you get, like, a durable epic heavy armor, or maybe they don't have that here. The epic heavy armor, um, you can put a bunch of multi-boosters in it as well. Make yourself really fast, or, or, or use them for temperature control. Put a lot of temperature or radiation boosters in it. Um, not so good for planets unless you want to tank stuff. Then they work pretty good if you put a bunch of defensive stuff in them. Otherwise I generally don't use them that much. It looks like this guy's heading this way. Oh, this is perfect. They're going in opposite directions. That's awesome. Please wait. Yeah, so I'm going to be up to 2.5 million CPU now. I will, uh... Gosh, I might not even add thrusters at this point. If I look at my statistics, this 50 degrees roll... I mean, this is all working right now. It's all working right now, so I may just go for more weapons, to be honest. What does rocket weigh? Uh, 11 tons. That's not that much. Okay, I need to make sure I'm set correctly. Which I'm not. Um, I kind of want to kill this disruptor. Get him. There we go. Perfect. This guy's not even shooting at me. Well, now he is. That was a good volley. Oh, I'm upside down. Yeah, and the nice thing I like about this ship is it's just so agile. I can just float around things. Even at 2.1 million CPU, I mean, I don't have any speed upgrades in this thing yet. Probably don't need to be this close to it. I'd probably evade a lot more if I stayed further away. Yeah. 
quarter mile, and it looks like my shield is now charging. Oh, got it within it and it started taking hits, so. Alright, time to get down and get to business. Hey, hit him. So, you know, this guy's basically stopped already. It's kind of weird, actually. My shield is still charging, so... Try to take this one out here on the front. That was a good artillery shot. Okay, I'm going to try to take this site out now, too. It's like these infectors are almost too easy. No, I shouldn't say that. Somebody might hear it and make them harder. A little better back away from that EMP bubble. Yeah, take that one out. Take that one out. Alright, can't do that anymore. I'm almost burning my shield out. Okay. I'm going to stay high on it. I'm going to go after generators now. Try to stay on this side of it. Oh, I don't want to be that high on it, though. There you go. Yeah, I think there is some gen there are some generators buried in the back of it, so not uncommon for. Uh, for it to be aiming there. Yeah, and see my shield is already charged up to almost 50%. I do want to get over to this side. That was actually a good angle right there. I see some exclamation points in the bottom of my screen. It's either drones or it is the... Uh, the other infector. But for now, I'm just going to keep hammering the back of this until it's dead. Oh, they're almost here, too. But they were definitely drones. disruptor, I think. Oh, that's the other infectors here to play. I really want to core this guy, then. Alright, I'm 
have to leave him alone for a little bit. Once you get about a mile, they can't reach you anymore. There, I just rebalanced with my old key. Like they're going opposite directions, so I'm going back after them. I just gotta watch my shield. That's the key. You can get away with not watching as long as you watch your shield. That's gonna miss for sure. Got him. Yes. That was a good shot. I'm just going to keep rocking with the E and the Q button. Make yourself a little more elusive. Some of them still might hit, but that's okay. looking for is the other infector. I wanted to stay near it, but we're right next to it. Let's see what happens if I get in front of you like this. And shields are down. Okay. to it. It's awesome. One turret down, the top one on that side is down. That middle one looks like it's down now. I'm gonna work on the top ones on this side. That top one's gone. Gonna work on that one in the back middle here. It's getting a little lazier with the rocks. Okay. Where is it? Point six. Okay, it's still good. Oops, I gotta be careful. See, and that's why my first upgrade's gotta be generators. Okay. I am gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go for the generators. Oh, I already got that setting set. Oh, my shield's down. That's alright. The front of my ship is all Xeno. Barely did any damage. They probably they scratched it a little bit. But hey, they got my shield down. That's an accomplishment. That's an accomplishment. Good job, Infector. Okay, I'll back away. Where's the other one? It's right there. Okay, I'll stop not looking. Gonna head over here, recharge a little bit.
I'll let his shield recharge. That's fine. We'll see where he goes. Oh, he's coming in hot. Okay, fine. Let's play. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Let's do this. This guy's just booking though, that's the problem. Yeah, I can't do that. I do want to get those turrets out from down there, but... way. Looks like he got a few shots on me there. Oh, shoot, he must be in range if he's if I'm shooting. He's right on top of me. See, this guy's doing the opposite of what they were doing earlier. Oh, here's the other infector. I was just looking for it. He's actually circling and coming back. It's like he wants me. He wants to come get a piece of me. And I'm just sitting here by my kill. Stalking my kill, waiting for, waiting for my chances to get him. Because if I get too far away from that CV, it's going to despawn. Yeah, I missed this. He is just booking at such a speed right now. Something else. the other one. It's like they have personalities now. I don't know where he is. Two, you see he's two miles away now. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come underneath it, and I'm going to go after those drive thrusters, just to essentially stop it. Well, I should just go after those turrets, too. If I get in front of it, do I stop it? Missing all those shots. Missed it. Shooting me. 
Okay, fine. I'll do the whirly corkscrew. He'll still get a few shots on me. That's okay. Can't let this guy go. I need that quantum box. Yeah, I'm just going after the turrets right now. See, I don't know why that I don't know why those plasmas aren't doing any damage there. They all should have, and they're not they're not doing anything. Zero damage. Gosh, and I've noticed that glitch before. Zero damage. Zero damage. There, it took some damage. Now it's taking damage. Alright, let me try to get some of these stupid turrets dead. Factor is. Oh, we're right on top of it. <laughs> That's funny. That was kind of a big explosion. I wonder if something blew up there. More drones coming in. here. I mean, this infector doesn't have much time left before he's dead. I mean, he's mostly defanged. He's got most of his weapons gone. Looks like he's turning around, which is a good thing. Oh, I gotta get back. Your little corkscrew. I was almost out of out of render distance. Well, that's good. They're shooting at probably those those drones. Here he comes. Yeah, get 
that disruptor. There he took, took normal damage, so... I can see the infector right in front of me, so that's good. The dead one. Just off to my right, I just passed it. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to add heat seeking rockets and lasers to this. Although, the drones haven't really been a problem. just going in a circle now. It's like he doesn't know what to do. I can start to see the green in there now. Which is good. That means I'm starting to see the texture on the inside, which is surrounding the core. For the most part, the turrets underneath it aren't uh, aren't shooting at me, but every once in a while they get a few shots off. Yeah, see, now we're starting to get a little bit further away. Just, just, just go red. Do me a favor and go red. You see, you're just rising at this point. All right, I'm going to go back. Watch my shield, see if you see any shots off on me. Assuming not, I'm just going to fly straight, which he's not. And uh, I, th I hope he comes after me. But either way, I'm not letting this infector out of my... out of my sight. Oh, look at that, he followed me. Get him. Go red. She thought that was a pretty good shot there. Got him. Was that our artil artillery shell? Okay. This sector's clear. And the reason why I run away fast like that is because 
uh, let me orient myself on this one, is because the turrets keep shooting as you saw, and I don't want them to keep shooting in the hole and blow up the loot. Cool. Let's see what we got. Let's 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 pray for two CV quantums, and also pray that all the uh, drones are dead. Otherwise, I might have a rough time out here. Alright, this looks good. Advanced heavy. Whoop, whoop. That's awesome. Yes. Oh. Wah, wah. And here's the last one. I'm going to try going through right here. Oh, that didn't uh, get me where I wanted to, but I can get to the hole fast here. And in my ship. And on to the next one. And the way I orient myself is I always look for that group of thrusters at the bottom that I was kinda of, those turrets were pestering me on. Uh, and I and I kinda of just go right near that. So you can kinda of see that thruster, that point that sticks out at the bottom. I look for that and just pull right up to it. All right, CV Quantum. I can feel it. Probably gonna be disruptor charges. It's always a letdown when they're disruptor charges. Oops. Lots of optronics. What's that? Reinforced medium. I got those already. More optronics. More Creel blasters and the gold ingots. Yes, another CV. That's awesome. All right, so that, that gives me uh, two CV quantums out of here. Ooh, this one took some damage. Somehow that survived. And I got a whole I thought I heard a noise. And I got a whole bunch of uh optronics, rares, epics, whatever you want to call them. Lots of weapons. Alright, I see light over here. Awesome, awesome. So that gives me six hundred thousand. CPU to deal with. How long did that take me? An hour and nine minutes into, into the recording. So, not bad, not bad for a... a two, it's really, at this point, still a 2.1 million CPU ship. Um, soon to be 2.7 million. Uh, I am stopping the ship because I am going to go ahead and take care of that generator. Overload. And repair it up. Mm, repair. It must have been one of this. Well, I only have those generators. Um. What? that one? What, what am I... Oh, I know what it is. Forgot about those. They're the decoys. They're the decoy generators. 
Okay, a decoy generator took damage. I'll have to hit that at a repair bay. Forgot about those. Um, I am, while I'm here, I'm going to put my two quantums in to get me up to three. Turn the shield off, which is suicide and legacy territory, but I'm going to do it. And get that shield back on. And I have how many of the C three of the SV quantums, SV H V. All right. With that, that was a pretty cool legacy trip. Keep doing that. There's lots of systems to hit, lots of things to explore. Uh, if you're not familiar with legacy territory, all these N one A systems are all the same. This O one A in the middle, there's only one of them, is the home world. If it has a home world, it's always there, and it's always in the middle. So that's where you want to go with it. Well, this is the legacy system for Reforged Galaxy and Vanilla. This is the only place you're going to find legacy ships. Just this little pocket over here. Uh, for Reforged Eden, it's a little bit different. You're going to find them in black hole sectors, or a chance to find them in black hole sectors, as well as the legacy space. Uh, but the legacy space is bigger in Reforged Eden. But for now, I'm going to head back to my base, uh, focus on other things in the next streams, uh, but before I do that, I am going to uh, warp back and just show you how we do the navigation. Kind of like I mentioned last time, I always turn the territories on. That gets me oriented because I know I am over in the southwest corner of Polaris territory. Etire, I know is 40.2 light years away because in the bottom corner down here it says 42.2 when I put my cursor on it. So I'm going to lock my target there. And I'm going to start heading back. I will need to get some restocks on Pentaxid in my Pentaxid tank, which I will work on right, right now. One thing I found out is is if you use a, a, a container, if there's Pentaxid in it, you can just arrow over and only Pentaxid will go in because that's all it accepts. Even though I have fuel, it won't accept that. So um, just a little shortcut to help you get it filled a little bit quicker and easier. That is too far. 48.3 is good enough. So it's pretty easy to follow your warp lines if you've got them. It's essentially what I'm doing right now. Um, so the next one is not, oh, the next one was right there. That was 57.7 light years. Warp lines don't show the whole distance. They only show what's in the shorter range from where you currently are, so... I'll show you what that means when we get out here. So, I don't see any warp lines right now. I don't see anywhere I came from. I don't see anywhere I'm going to. It's because none of these systems that I can visually see, I've warped to. I kind of have to go in the direction that I want to go and see now the line appears when this system appears. Uh, but I'm going to hit this one. So that's how the warp line works. It's It can be confusing at first. but that's how you get the warp lines to show up. Thought I saw something down here. Creel can be interesting to fight. They have a couple tough ships, but uh, nothing too bad. Yeah. Um, actually, I want to go a little bit lower. I want to go down here. How far is that one? 60.0, exactly. That's awesome. Don't find that very often. Alright, go back to my Pentaxa tank. Refill that. And then... It, yeah, that's my home world. While 
that I'm out, I am going to get rid of this water bookmarker. Doesn't take very long. I don't think I can do it from here. No, I can't. I need to be inside the planet to see the map. And as far as I know, there's no way to see the, the map planet. Looks like I marked that energy signature uh, asteroid over there. Don't remember doing it, but I'm sure it was on one of these recordings, or maybe not. Um, let's go through the loot box. That's the fun part. Container controller. Advanced insulation, shielding, two radiation. Okay. Advanced heavy, four slots in it. That's going to be awesome. That one's probably worth using. Um, an energy pulse rifle, plasma rifles, heavy assault rifles, combat pistols. I think I already had a combat pistol. The plasma blasters, advanced miniguns, which I think I already have. Yeah, I already have the laser minigun. So I don't really need the advance. Ooh. That's enough for two CVs. That's enough for one. That's enough for multiple SVs. Okay. Where is the water? Right here. Oh. Yeah, you. In the divider. Okay. Azure Junction. Alright, let's get off this planet. And I'm going to the solar base, and I can just warp to it. Since I have the waypoint set on my solar base, uh, I don't have to lock, I can just warp. Uh, or not. Oh, it took me to... Don't I have my... Oh, maybe... You know what it just did? It just took me back to the sun. I did not put a I did not put a bookmarker on my base, I put it on the system. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now. You've seen legacy ships. Um I'm gonna make some auto miners. I got ten auto miners. Let me get those going in the constructors when I get back. Then I'm going to take the pack mule and start farming some resources. Get the miners down. I'm going to mine planetary deposits. Do a run with all that so you can kind of see how that works, how I do those. Um, yeah, and then we'll see from there. But I mean, this is kind of the, the, the way I, I run through the I, you know, I have run through the game. Um, from here it's kind of all preference. You can you can run POIs, you can keep hammering legacy ships, you can go after Xerax if you want. I mean, the dreadnoughts have two quantums in them. They can be challenging. Um, you know, this ship's gonna have no problem taking them on though. Especially once you start getting some upgrades in it, it's gonna have no problem whatsoever. It's so fast though, I mean you can see how fast I'm whipping around here. And it's just so crisp in its movement. Okay. Can I reach the solar starter? I sure can. What can I put in here? That was a, uh, a lot of resources. Yeah, all those upgrade kits. Six upgrade kits. Oh, man. Could do some damage with those, no pun intended. Or it was, whatever, you know. 
All right. Uh, decon. Decon input. Yep, 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 yep. Large generators don't need those. Uh, don't care, don't care. Yep. These LS45 laser rifles are nice. I have one. Any of the any of the simple stuff, these pulse, anything that's blue or green in color, the text of the weapon, see this is gold in color, or yellow, this is gold. The color indicates the rarity. So if it's like advanced pulse rifles, I'm gonna I'm gonna decon these. Uh, they're actually, you know, that I think of it, these are going to be good sources of uh, laser upgrade kits. These guns are going to be. Um, advanced heavy, yes. So here's the part of the game where solar starter can start to not be as efficient as you'd like. Once you start getting loot and weapons and stuff, for now I'm just going to dump it all in here. You'll see this is going to fill up real quick. Um, yep. 271 artillery shells is pretty darn good actually. Constructor output, put this in there. Um, Yep, all that goes in there. Put the ATM cards on me. Fridge output. And then I'm just going to put this in miscellaneous. Okay, the soul crusher is empty. And as expected, I got six hundred thousand um, CPU to work with. Six hundred thousand. That's a good. That's a good upgrade. It's so hard to pick. First, you need to eat those delicious ration packs. All right. Well, I'm gonna get some upgrades going here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it an end to this stream. But hold on. Capital vessel. Did I unlock all the uh, generators? Yeah, I did. Am I just not seeing it, or did I not scroll down? There it is. Advanced generator. One of those, and that is 150,000 CPU. Um. For simplicity of ammo, I'm not gonna go after the upgraded turrets right now. I'm gonna add how much CPU? I'm gonna add two laser turrets. Actual laser turrets. And then I'm going to add. I'm just going to say four missile turrets for now. And I'm trying to think. And Oh, you know what I should have done? That was kind of silly. I should have harvested some of those XL, those drive thrusters on those infectors. I got to... Because I could have totally just thrown them in the ship and they would have been free to make. All right, lesson learned. Next time I kill a legacy ship, I take the drive thrusters off of them. Um, let's see. These take 110k. I'm going to make a couple. Yeah. 
yeah, I could have had those for free. Okay, let's hit up the ATM really quick. Yeah, this is a good little haul. There's almost 200,000. Oh, wait. And... Miscellaneous, yeah. I'll grab one of those. What is the insulation? That's pretty good. I don't need more radiation, I don't think. Don't need an Eva. We'll take a multi boost. And either an armor or a jet pack. I feel like a jet pack is. Actually, maybe I could just go dual, dual multi boosters. That's better than a jetpack, because you get some jetpack boost out of it already. See, so jetpack usage multiply negative point two five. The multi boost gives you a negative point one. So, not as not as potent, but it's still some. Yeah, I'm definitely faster. Oh, I'm a lot faster now. This is awesome. But he can't harvest vegetables faster. Oh, the other thing I need to do is get some auto miners going. I'm going to get all 10 constructing. And then next episode, I'm going to set auto miners. Is still building though. 130, wow, 134 ration packs. That's pretty good. Okay, so I've been doing this for a while now. Let me look at the fridge. Now, this is about the point where I've got those empty grow plots here. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 empty grow plots. Now, this is a point where I'd look and say, hey, what am I low on? Natural sweetener, I'm doing really good on. Spices, it looks like I'm pretty low. Got a ton of fruit. Tons of grain. Uh, so it looks like I could use... I'm going to stop. Stop that. So if you didn't know that trick, if you turn the power off, you can stop what's in process. I'm going to add... So, okay, so they each yield two. So I'm going to do four of those. And I got 11 to fill. Uh, I'm going to do a couple pumpkin. Six. Maybe eight. What else? What else? What else? It looks like I'm doing good on everything else, to be honest. Maybe I just do another spi a spice. Oh, wow, I got 134 ration packs already. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave one open because I think... Sprouts, no. It yields fruit. That's fine, I'll make another one. So I'm going to add four spices. Six spices. And four pumpkin, that's only ten. Natural stimulants, I have. Herbal leaves, I have. Sweetener vegetables. I don't care about plant fibers, I'm not going to grow that. Mushrooms, oranges, berries. Yeah, I think I have everything else going. I could make some more plant protein. Maybe I'll do that instead, because I am using it. And this is where the uh, the nutrient solution uses stone dust. So that's why it's nice to keep some stone dust in here. Eight. 
and the other thing I like to do number one sort all my stuff uh, the other thing I like to do is have a little variety in the fridge so I like pies and cakes they're delicious and cheeseburgers are good pizzas some ratatouille dino royal stew pretty much everything waffles cookies this all sounds fabulous ribs actually some ribs and make some glazed hams some steaks I'll put the cookies and waffles in this one and take them out of here yeah lots of food alright yeah that enhanced laser drill I'm so jacked I got one of those so early okay um plant protein well it's that one what I'm going to do is I like to try to keep them together if I can Apparently I can't take that out. Okay. And then... I'm going to put... Yep. Put that there. Uh, what am I connected to? Fridge input. Makes sense. Coffee fits there. I feel like I'm missing a sprout. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Am I making another one? Hmm. Thought I made enough, maybe not. That's all right. Well, you know what? For now, that's good. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make another spice. The other thing is sometimes I like to do. Is sprouts never expire? So one thing you can do to protect your food supply is make some backups of each, and just keep them in a fridge. That can help. All right. Well. This is a good stream. I've got um, lots of turrets, missiles, lasers. I need to get my auto miners going. They are not unlocked. Uh, are they down here? Oh gosh. Oh, I have just enough points to unlock them. I am so happy for that. Okay. Laser upgrade kits. Those I should be getting out of my... forgot about those. Is this thing still working? Decon? Yep. Alright, let's sleep. So, th the laser upgrade kits I'll be getting out of these laser laser pistols, laser rifles. Okay, let's see where I'm at now. How many laser upgrade kits do I got? Not many. Six, so that's only three. Okay, so it does take two, two laser upgrade kits for the advanced 
one for the intermediate or the improved and then zero for the basic i don't recommend ever using the basic or the improved go straight for the advanced uh yields kind of suck for how much gas you have to put in them i mean it's still profitable don't get me wrong but i just i always go for the advanced only um i'm gonna go get some more upgrade kits so i can go get the rest of these auto miner started for the next stream and then we'll go set some auto miners but until then uh, I'm going to wrap this stream up again if you do like what you're seeing please do like subscribe and of course let me know if you do have any questions thanks for joining